hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video might look a little bit different sound a little bit different to normal i am trialing out a new camera today just to see how we go kind of test running it let me know what you think if you're happy with it i'm thinking i might use this for more out and about vlog style footage so that it's different to like just using my phone anyway i'm heading off to a little ladies who lunch type lunch with some of the girls from the industry we did like a little christmas do which was so much fun back in december no was it november no it was december and we said then that we must try this new place in manchester called phoenix it honestly guys the aesthetics inside interior goals very sort of Mykonos style lots of like stuck art on the walls plaster very beige aesthetic I just think it looks beautiful in there and the branding and everything is lovely so hopefully the food matches it too so we're gonna go for a nice little lunch a good catch up um I think there's about eight of us going and then I'm going to <clears throat> I'm thinking about going to M&S en route back because I feel like recently I've seen a few people do some vlogs and some hauls and they just seem to have some really nice stuff. Plus, we love a little browse in M&S because <laughs> they have the food, they have the clothes and they have the home. All favourites. So anyway, that's the plan. Let's head on to lunch and I'll show you guys when I get there. It's my new camera. Pro. It's a uh, DJ Osmo, it's called. It's the new thing. Oh, we've got an Osmo, but it's like a big one. Yeah. Like a. Well, like you can or is it called an Osmo? I don't know. Osmo it. Pocket, this is. So, cute. yeah. Yeah, I bet it will be. I am not oh, so cute. I keep looking down here, though. I need to look up. Oh, oh yeah, that's what yeah. I'm looking at. <laughs> Gotta look at it. It's so funny. Oh, no, I love it. It feels like a little pet or something. <laughs> Like a little animal. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? But so small and dinky. Cute, very compact. Yeah, and then look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Where are we going? Right, let's try and find Should we out. have a look on our... Is it actually raining? Yeah, it is. Lovely. Fine we're late express. because we struggled to find a parking spot. We found one and we're actually parked right next to each other. <laughs> so, right, okay. let's go it's find Phoenix. Walk, but we can do it quicker. Ooh, left. Left? Left. Yeah. This is and Tom's then, umbrella, I don't know. Oh, how to nice use one. it. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. We're out. What's going this way? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in the toilets absolutely in love with this decor can you see guys it's all beige black oh vase Ooh, i just love it so much the food was delicious as well and this is my little outfit that i'm wearing i've got like a basic white tee um some leggings and then my frankie shop blazer my new louis vuitton i think it's called the pochette felice bag and then just some chunky black boots. Gorgeous in here. Definitely recommended. Good morning. It's actually a new day. It's the next day. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous boy. How are you this morning? How are you this morning? Oh, I've got tongue in the mouth. Tongue in the mouth. Mm. So scrumptious. Oh, he's just the best cuddler in the morning. Anyway, good morning, guys. Sorry, I just basically did not vlog yesterday. The day got away with us. The weather was horrendous, and it's looking pretty shocking today as well, although it's still very early and dark. You can maybe be able to hear the croak of my voice that it's that early, but it's a new day. I still wanted to pop to MS, so I thought I would just start fresh again today. And um, yeah. Gorgeous lunch. Phoenix restaurant is beautiful. Interiors, incredible. Food, lovely. Expect a full 
say that it was quite small portions. So it was good for like a one-off or like an occasion, I would say, or maybe if you're just gonna go in an evening for drinks, but um, beautiful, really, really nice. I think they're opening another one. I saw on their socials that they've got a new restaurant coming called Louis. I don't know if it's good. It looks evening vibes, but they haven't really released, or as far as I'm aware, they haven't really released much about it yet. Anyway, I put my SPF on for the day. Already popped that on. Um, so yeah, beautiful restaurant but the reason why I didn't carry on vlogging is we ended up spending a good few hours there so by the time I set off to go home it was like rush hour basically so it was in a bit of traffic but um yeah so it was already starting to get dark and I just thought well let's just start afresh I'm more of a morning person so I like to vlog for you guys in the mornings like if I'm going out and about to the shops I like to pretty much be there for opening <laughs> so I, yeah, when it gets to, especially after I've had like a nice big lunch, catch up with the girls, driven home in rush hour, by that point I was just ready to get home, see Tom, he'd made dinner as well, so dinner after a big lunch. Um, although I say big lunch, it's, we had a lot, but it was very small portions and shared between eight of us. I didn't go away feeling like I'm full. Um, so anyway, yeah, long story short, we're picking up the camera again today. I think I'm just gonna take this one for a WALK. Yeah, so we're gonna go to maybe even Didsbury's a nice walk that we like to do because there's water. He can have a swim if it's not too high. And we can get like a, well, there's loads of options for bakeries. La Chiquette. If you know, you know, that's our fave. But I tend to go there on a weekend with Tom. So I'm thinking maybe even just Bob into Gales maybe. And then um, head over to MS, do a little food shop because I need to get some bits in. I'm feeling like I've got a pretty clear schedule for the day, but I woke up to an email this morning that I missed yesterday. So I've just emailed them back. I might have a one hour call later with a brand. So that is potentially on the agenda. We'll just have to keep check on my emails. Hot so I'm in. I'm gonna have to do my shopping. Um, yeah, how is everybody? I like a little check in with you guys to see how you guys are all doing. Did I tell you I finished my book, The Housemaid's Secret? Went onto Amazon and saw that the pre order for the third one is already out. And my goodness, I'm so excited. It falls as well. The pre order release for when the shipment will be in July falls when, um, like before our holiday. So I'm gonna get it and save it for when we go to COS, which I'm so excited for. We were having a look at flights last night actually to maybe do something mid-March for Tom's birthday as well. So that's also potentially on the agenda. I think that's about it guys for catch ups since I uh, vlogged yesterday. I'm just gonna go in and using well lip liner today just lightly just kind of shading my lips i think this might be another reason to potentially do the ms at the trafford center let me just have a look i think there's a new white company scent which you know me if there's a new scent and there's a new oil i'm getting it i just can't help myself uh let's have a look Candles and fragrance new in. So Tuscan Grove and Santa Rosa. I don't know if I like to. Uh, I've got Tuscan Grove scent already. It's beautiful. Santa Rosa. I'm assuming it's probably going to be. Oh, it's one of their like higher end. Can you see the branding on it? It's one of those ones, like the Amalfi Lemon one. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy this scent because I mean I might do. I have to go in store and try it. But scent notes of tuberose, orris, and jasmine. Scent description, uplifting and floral. Scent family, floral. I don't usually go for the floral ones. So, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it might be nice for summer. I've got this lip gloss, which I still love. I'm just addicted to using this at the minute. The Clarins Lip Perfector in 22. It's just a real nice, the colour on this camera does not look the best. I need to have a, a play around with the settings, but yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, this one. Just take my word for it. So anyway, let's head on. Oh, I do actually need to pop to the range at some point today. 
as well. So maybe we will have a look in that after M and S. Yeah, come on then, let's go. <laughs> You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know. You this guys is the trench that I tell you about that is my favorite 59 pounds it's a dupe for the Arquette one and it is gorgeous still absolutely love it still think it's a great investment shower resistant apparently I've also got a couple of shorter length uh, shorter longer length trenches this like darker camel color at 79 and then this lighter it's also a bit more lightweight this one as well at 79 again i also love this blazer it's like a wool blend i think yeah look with wool 79 pounds and it's a gorgeous like herringbone with the tortoiseshell buttons i just think that is gorgeous love that so i've seen this jumper this is well this one's in a large 25 pounds but i feel like it's a good staple i just don't know if it's a bit out of season but really thick um super soft fabric with the thick ribbing as well on the bottom and on the cuffs yeah i really like it i just don't know if i'm um too close to like the warmer weather to be buying stuff like this i don't know but i think for 25 that's a really good value for what you get they've actually still got quite a bit of knitwear out having had a quick look um, I love these cardigans that they do. They do them in like an oatmeal colour, navy over there, a um, like darker beige black, and then this grey marl as well. Twenty nine fifty. Very simple, but just for around the house, you know, just with a basic tee and leggings on, just so comfy. I love these. I've also spotted this jumper, twenty nine fifty. I like the kind of crisscross uh, piping along the sleeves. And it's a really nice like high neck as well but yeah so loads of knitwear still available in M&S So there's some gorgeous new homeware finds, especially the Fired Earth range and the kind of like vases that they've got. Some really unique pieces. I love these little candle holders. 
and this huge vase which is 39.50 is beautiful as well and then also this little stand again candle holder type stand 15 pounds love the actual color of that and then they've got some like summery bits as well or spring bits with these plates these little napkin rings bunny napkin rings the seagrass tray 18 pounds with the scalloped edge i think that's lovely and then that candlestick as well that same kind of like wooden finish they do in these photo frames which are 12.50 they've got some gorgeous spring stems as well these ones in particular i think are so lovely how much are they they are moss and sweet pea at 16 pound and then that's how many you get you get like two stems which each have a few different branches on but yeah they are lovely a bit more realistic than some of the others but yeah quite the selection there's some more around the other side as well okay we are in the changing room just doing a little try on and i picked up this basic knit vest for 950 just ready to try on with some of these clothes but um but they are really good and handy i'll leave these items linked because i know mns online there's just so much to choose from so make it nice and easy for you and this is the blaze that I showed you um, on the rail this one is in a 12 and I would say size up it comes quite tailored so especially like me if you prefer a slightly oversized blazer um, but yeah it's a beautiful the herringbone on it I love it okay this is the cardigan that I absolutely love that they do so soft guys so comfortable and I did also pick it up in another color just to show you the darker like beige color but yeah this is it in a 12 just to size up by one just to have it slightly more comfy and oversized but I would say actually for me a 12 is a pretty a pretty good fit so yeah I'll show you the other color now okay this I think this of the two is my favorite color I do like both of them but um, they have this one in the longer uh, length as well so this is it sort of the midi midi length but they do some that go literally down to I wouldn't say your ankles but your shins uh in this color I didn't see the gray in that length but I did see this color if you prefer this but a longer length I just think they're so comfy and I would say pretty reasonable at 29.50 I think for the quality that you get it's a thumbs up from me so love this trench in the fact that it's a green for spring i just think it's a really nice alternative to the kind of classic trench color that you get and i th also think this color works really nice with white so i still got the basic white vest on i tried on these jeans and they are slouchy white i would say like in a 10 regular these are like way too big for me so they are very slouchy and obviously because of that they probably sit a bit lower which is not for me i would have preferred them to sit a bit higher and just be wide leg rather than wide and slouchy but anyway yeah so they they don't fit me i, I saw them off the hanger and i was like oh they look lovely perfect denim color as well but um yeah i just can't i can't have things sat too low i need things really high waisted um, and then the last thing that I got to try on is this dress in a 10 at 59 pounds. Really beautiful for spring. Can you see the detailing? I just wanted to show you a bit closer up first. Um, but let me try it on and show you what it looks like on. So yeah, I would say very premature with this one. But I just thought it was lovely. It's got pockets as well, which I always appreciate on a dress. And nice and long. Got a little slit on the legs. Really pretty detailing. It is quite um like for like a linen-y fabric kind of thick in terms of um like you could get away with wearing it soon i would say so maybe not so premature after all but yeah this is what it looks like on i'm gonna grab some food and then probably head over to the range before coming back home to show you anything that i do get Dreamed about nothing else other than you. I always thought I'd be waiting, waiting in vain, but suddenly there you were. 
I don't know if you can hear that rain, but my goodness, it's coming down. It is so heavy. So I'm now back home and I've just come home to the parcel. In fact, is this even for me? No. <laughs> Stop for me, it's for Tom. I have seen we've got a National Trust letter. I think this important membership information. Yeah, I think this is a reminder we need to renew. Our National Trust membership. Anyway, I'm going to take you through to show you the bits that I got. I'm actually just making myself a bite to eat first, so I'll eat that first. I'm going to have my thing that I've been craving lately, and I showed you, showed you recently as well, some peanut butter and banana on sourdough toast. My ideal kind of lunch. So I'm going to have that, then I'll make a coffee as well, I think, and then I'll show you the bits I got. I didn't actually get anything from M&S. There was one pair of linen trousers that I really liked the look of, but they didn't have my size. But I have got quite a bit from the range. of chia seeds. And we're done. Coffee in hand. I'm still in love with these coasters. This find that I um, got off Amazon. Mm. Pack of four coasters. I love them like a travertine material. Anyway, uh, let me share with you the bits that I got from the range. Just a really random haul. I did actually pick up, let me spin the camera around and show you. You might be able to see over here a larger arch mirror. So I have this smaller one, the smaller one inside it, which is, you can see me in the mirror, hold on one second. This one, the smaller one is from Next, which I love. I wanted a larger one here so that I can move this next one into our bedroom, where my old wardrobe used to be. And the one that is bigger is from the range, but it's a sort of mirror that from far away, it kind of distorts you a little bit. So I don't know whether to return it or what I might do is pop it downstairs in the kind of like spare room, cinema room type thing that we've got down there because you're never gonna be that far away from it. it it's fine close up. It's only when in this room, obviously, because it's quite an open space, if I'm all the other way across the other side of the room, it looks distorted and I feel like that will bug me. So that's the first purchase. That was a hundred pounds thereabouts. Definitely fine I would say for a smaller room just not one that's as open as this because of that distortion but anyway I also picked up a couple of cleaning products. I wanted some or needed some new toilet bleach and I saw that they had these like kind of more spring zesty citrusy scents so went for those as opposed to my usual pine. I also picked up some again lemon scented uh, all-in-one Astonish dishwasher tablets. These Astonish ones are really affordable. I also got this, which I've never seen before. It's from Elbow Grease, which love Elbow Grease products anyway, but these are, it's like a limited edition. It says spray, wipe, rinse, washing up spray in apple and cinnamon, which kind of like festive scented, but I do like apple and cinnamon fragrances. Glasses, pans, plates, the only cleaner you'll ever need. So you literally apparently spray it on to wash it, which I feel like might be quite a satisfying washing up liquid to be able to do it via a spray. Simply spray, wipe and rinse. There we go. They also have this new range called Sanctuary, which is very aesthetic, very kind of warm earthy colors neutral colors like the warm mango wood cream so anyway i've got a couple of things firstly this dish sponge i have seen that they now do the refills refills available because i have bought this in the past in gray and it i got rid of it because i was like well done we don't have the refills that fit but now they do so i also this one comes with like a brush as well and then i also got this from the range. So it's like a, in that same gorgeous acacia mango wood color that I feel like because I want to have it organized through our pantry and clean it and 
at some point. Um, I want to have a bit of a rejig in there and actually make it look a lot nicer rather than it's just at the minute crammed full of rubbish around the corner that you can't see. So yeah, thinking of having like my, not cleaning products in there, but Hoover, we've got our Robo Hoover that does all of this floor, but then I obviously have a Hoover anyway for like the rugs, the stairs, downstairs, upstairs. So Hoover in there, brush, basket maybe, or even like a peg rail or something. I definitely want to zhuzh it up and make it look a lot nicer. So we have that to do. I also picked up this tin, which um, it's the dishwasher tablet, so I'm going to pop under the sink. That's another space I need to organize through is under the sink cupboard. I swear there's always something. feels like there's a never ending list, to-do list of organizing and decluttering and sorting through, which I don't mind. I have to be in the headspace, but I usually am in the headspace. But I just, at the minute, there seems to be quite a few areas that I need to tackle. So anyway, this is gorgeous. A little tin. Sorry, I'm like sat on my knees. That's why I'm getting like uncomfortable. I don't know why I've decided to sit on the floor, but here we are. Dishwasher tablets. They had these um, like tins with, I think they had like a first aid kit or pegs or something like that as well. But this is the one that I've gone for for under our sink. And then I thought these were a bargain. So Philip Kingsley shampoo and conditioner, it's like a high end, well, I would say like mid to high end makeup, makeup brand, hair care brand, Philip Kingsley. If you've yet to try it, they do really nice shampoos and conditioners. So this is a no scent, no color shampoo for all hair types with sensitive scalps, delicate or easy irritated. So just no fragrance, just simple. Let me see how much these were. Yeah, five pound 20. Whereas I'm sure these usually are sort of 15 pounds each. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure these are a lot more than that. Anyway, I feel like this needs a little sweet side dish to it. So I did treat myself, seeing as though Easter is approaching. Obviously the stores are full of Easter chocolates. For me, Easter chocolates are my favorite all year round, over Christmas chocolates, anything. Easter chocolate, Easter egg chocolate in particular, amazing. So what we've been doing, me and Tom, we've been getting like an Easter egg every weekend as like our weekend treat. Um, but I thought I would pick up these instead. I don't think Tom will have these, but the cream eggs, which are um, three different flavors. We've got caramel, white, and classic. I'm gonna be using these probably in my next vlog to do a little DIY baking type thing that I've, recipe thing that I've seen on TikTok. And then I also picked up it. Mini egg chocolate is just the best. Yum, delicious. So maybe I'll have just a little row of this with my coffee this afternoon. But yeah, that's everything that I picked up. So nothing from M&S. Uh, I did really like the bits that I tried on, but it's just a case of, if I'm being totally honest, right now in this transitional period, I just feel like a bit not in the mood to spend on clothes which I'm just gonna roll with that because when am I ever not in the mood to spend? Very rarely. I just feel like it still feels quite cold. So I'm not really wanting to buy lighter weight things for spring because it just feels like a million miles away <laughs> because it's so cold still. We've just had the wettest, drizzliest weather these last few days. I do think we're forecast, by the time you're watching this video, I think we're forecast some sun. So hopefully, if you're watching this video and you've got some sunshine, amazing. Um, but yeah, for me right now, and, and you know what, had I have shopped on a sunny day, who knows, I could have been coming home with the green trench coat. Probably not the blazer, because I didn't need that, and I've got one very similar. Maybe the linen dress, when I left it behind, the woman who sort of, put it on the rail after I tried it on. She went, oh, I really like that. I just popped that to one side for myself. And I was like, yeah, do it. I might come back in for it at some point. But anyway, we didn't buy anything today. I was also really impressed with the homeware, actually. They've got, again, this kind of like darker wood, which is definitely, I would say, what people are opting for more and more. Zara Home, I feel like I've had it for a long time, but I definitely think the more affordable options like the range, b and they're starting to get that darker wood in, which is fab because I really like it as well. This is probably quite a short vlog today, so apologies for those of you that tell me that you like the longer ones, but I haven't really got much else to say. 
for this video if I'm being brutally honest. I just have quite a bit that I need to get on top of with the house and as much as I love like filming it and watching it on other people's channels, sometimes I feel like I just need an afternoon with my scruffs on, my hair clipped on the top of my head, no makeup, gloves on and just to get stuff done. That's what I feel like I'm going to do this afternoon. So yeah, I'm going to be that annoying person and say I'm just going to crack on and do it. But that's what I need to do. I also have a call later um, in a couple of hours that I need to do. So yeah, I'm going to close off today's video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this short but sweet vlog. Let me know by giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment in the comments section below. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video, which will probably be yeah, it's going to be hello March. So we're going to get all spring, hopefully. Fingers crossed that the weather's going to be nice. We're going to get some fresh flowers in, do some baking, have a nice wholesome vlog. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, in the meantime, have a lovely rest of your week, rest of your day, rest of your month, rest of your hour. <laughs> Just have a great time, guys, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.